What's up, hello? My name is Emma, and today I'm going to be doing another updated signed book collection. I have been making signed book collection videos on my channel since 2015. This is my eighth installment, which is so wild, but this video contains every single book I got signed in 2018. I got nearly 50 books signed, which is so wild. I have like 47 books here to talk about, and I'm extremely excited to dive in. But as a warning, this video is going to go a little bit more quickly than my previous ones just because there's so many books. Wow, what a first world problem for me to have. The first book I got signed in 2018 is Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Sasha signed to Emma, I love you and I'm so happy you're in my life and Lindsay wrote, you're gorgeous. Sasha is a really good friend of mine. She is one of my fellow booktubers in this community. I'm sure you have heard of her. And this is her debut novel along with the author Lindsay Cummings. And so back in January of 2018, I actually got to moderate Lindsay and Sasha's event, which was super fun. I have a vlog of that as well as many other signings that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video. So if you wanna see the full Zenith launch event, I will leave that linked below. I had so much fun at the Zenith signing. I love moderating book signings, so I had so much fun talking to Lindsay and Sasha in front of the whole audience. I met so many of you guys and afterwards I got to go hang out with Sasha and Lindsay at their hotel with Michael and Monica and a few other friends. So it was a really, really great day. Also in January, I moderated a different event. This was for the Nice Try Jane Center launch event. The event featured Leanne Olke, the author of Nice Try Jane Center, and this is her debut novel. We also had Now Is Everything by Amy Giles, who is also a Long Island author. So that's really cool for me to find like a local YA author and also R.I.P. Eliza Hart by Alyssa Scheinmel. Now, while I love the big conventions like BookCon and Y'all Fest and whatnot, I always have a soft spot for smaller signings with smaller authors. And so it was just like a really close-knit environment. I had so much fun getting to know these authors through the conversation. I had already read Nice Trade Jane Center, so I was like fangirling the whole time. And then I read Now is Everything right after the event and really enjoyed it. So now I still have to get to R.I.P. Eliza Hart. But um, I really enjoyed meeting all three of these authors and I hope to see them again in the future. I went to three book signings in January. The final one was the Hazelwood launch as well as the Cruel Prince launch where I met Melissa Albert and I got to see Holly Black again. These were both personalized to me but going forward in this video I'm not going to show you books that are just signed or just personalized because like there's no point. I'll show you anything if I have like interesting things that authors wrote. I did not read the Hazelwood until after I met Melissa Albert. Unfortunately the Hazelwood was like not my favorite book in the world but I do really like Melissa Albert as a person. I met her a few times and she's just so sweet and funny. I like really want to listen to the young adult Barnes and Noble podcast because she runs it and I just think that she would be awesome at it. So I'm excited to listen to that in the future. And of course I love Holly Black. I've met her like so many times now, countless times, and it was just really nice to see her at the Barnes and Noble event again. I also had not read The Cruel Prince when I saw Holly that time, but I read it afterwards and like died because it was so good. In February I went to a signing for The Bells by Danielle Clayton. I did actually vlog this day. It was like just the book signing but I went into New York City and I got tattoos with Kat and Monica and Kaylee I think it was the four of us and Michael was there as well um, so it was just like a really fun friend filled vlog if you want to check it out but we did end up going to the Bells signing afterwards now even though we went to the signing for the Bells I did not actually meet Danielle Clayton and get my book personalized it is signed though it says may you always find beauty but the signing was so packed there were so many people shoved into the smaller books of wonder location that I was like, I am just not waiting on this line. So I picked up one of the pre-signed ones and luckily I did get to meet Donnell Clayton later this year, which I'll talk about. But um, overall, that was like a really fun day and I'll always associate this book with the day that I went to the city and got tattoos with my friends. For the next book, I did not go to a signing and meet the author. It was sent to me signed. It is My So-Called Bollywood Life by Nisha Sharma and it is signed Stay Filmy, I guess, because this is a book that is inspired a lot by Bollywood films. The author was really sweet. She just emailed me asking if I wanted to a copy of her book to share on social media and I was like of course and I didn't realize it was signed until much later. Um, I actually have not read this one yet but I'm really intrigued by it as it follows an Indian main character and it has like this theme of Bollywood film throughout it so it does sound like it'll be a very intriguing read. The next signing I went to was for Amanda Foody who is one of my new favorite YA authors. She wrote Daughter of the Burning City and Ace of Shades and I actually went to the signing in Pennsylvania. Basically I was visiting my dad who lives in Delaware for a few days and it just sort of lined 
lined up with Amanda Foodie signing in Pennsylvania. So I was like, I could just stop there on my way home. <laughs> Amanda Foodie is an author I've met a couple of times and know very well because I just adore her and her books, but she signed Daughter of the Burning City, Welcome to the Festival of Burning Desires. And so as Ace of Shades is the book that it was the launch signing for, she signed it. Emma, thank you for all that you do for books. So glad you loved the book. So yeah, it was just a cute little intimate signing. They had like cake that had the book covers screen printed onto it, which was really cool. And I just loved seeing Amanda again. So that was a really fun event. And I'm so happy I got these final copies signed. The next book I got signed, this is like around April as I'm going chronologically, is The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. I have a stomach ache thinking about talking about this right now. <laughs> wow, I like really have a stomach ache. <laughs> so if you did not see about a month ago or two at this point, the New Yorker posted an expose on AJ Finn that basically just talked about how he lied his way into his career. I could not summarize the article if I wanted to just because like so many unbelievable things happen. I'll link it below if you want to check it out. But essentially, um, I met AJ Finn before all of this happened and it put me in a very uncomfortable position. I think I also vlogged that day if you want to check that out. So he signed it for Emma with many thanks to your lovely words. Long live the Biblio book club because I had told him that I read his book because of my book club and like we were all reading it together. I'm like so sad talking about this because I like loved AJ Finn so much. He was like one of my new favorite authors and I really felt like a connection with him when I met him. We talked for a really long time and I I came away with such good feelings. Like you will see me fangirling so hard in that video and now like I have to look back and be like was he lying to me that whole time? Like I had a personal interaction with him. So I, I'm really upset about it. I'm like getting choked up because I'm like really, really gutted that this author turned out to be someone that I did not think he was. So yeah, I'm really conflicted on all my thoughts about the woman in the window and AJ Finn and what to do about his future works because of that piece and all the things that have come out since. But um, yeah, I, I got it signed. That's the point of this video. <laughs> so the next books I got signed in 2018 were a part of two signings. I went to like one day apart. So I actually combined them into one big signing vlog if you want to check that out below. The first is Fury Born by Claire Legrand. This was also a super cool day because I was actually invited by the publisher to go to a brunch with Claire Legrand as well as some other local book reviewers in New York City. So that itself was like super super cool. I loved just being surrounded by all these book lovers and the authors and her publicist and we had some delicious food and it was a really great time and then we headed out to the signing afterwards. Now I had actually met Claire Legrand once before. She she actually attended like this super super small booktube panel I was a part of at like Barnes & Noble Bee Fest in 2016. I don't think she remembers meeting me then but like it's fine I would never expect an author to meet me but I had a really great day like getting to know her better so she signed it for Emma. It was so nice to meet you. Thank you for your support. Still have not read Fury Born but I do really want to because it sounds like an epic fantasy story. And the next signing I went to like a day later was for Anger is a Gift. Oh that's not the right book. <laughs> Anger is a Gift by Marco Shiro and Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. Before going to the signing, I had met Mark and he seemed like such a cool dude. So I, of course, wanted to go out and get his book. And then I had just been really hyped for Monday's Not Coming for a while. So like the fact that they had a signing together, The Strand, was super cool. Mark signed it, Dear Emma, you are everything. Thank you. And Tiffany signed it to Emma. So amazing to meet you. Thank you for coming. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because like the title is Monday's Not Coming. This was also such a fun event. I think I went alone to this and and I just like had such a great time listening to the conversation like Tiffany and Mark and Danielle Clayton who was the moderator for there so I did meet her at this event um, they just had a really great dialogue going the whole time and it was super fun that's when I met Danielle Clayton and I got to tell her how much I've loved her books but I did not bring the tiny pretty things series which I have right here because I didn't know she was moderating it so next time I'll get those signed <laughs> moving on we have made it to the book expo and book con portion of this video I only have a couple of books that I got signed to book con this year I wasn't too crazy crazy with the signings, but I do have vlogs for the three days that I was at Book Expo and BookCon. If you want to check that out below, I am such a broken record. The first book I got signed is The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. And if I'm being honest, I don't remember anything from my interaction with Ruth Ware. It was very short. I didn't really know what to say because like I only read one of her other books and I like mildly enjoyed it. Um, but now I have this if I ever want to read it. So that's a cool thing. The next book I got signed at Book Expo is The Last Life of Prince Alistair by Alexandra Bracken, which is the sequel to the 
dreadful tale of Prosper Redding. I consider Alexandra Brecken to be one of my favorite authors. I have been recommending her books on my channel since like 2014 and I've read almost everything she's written. I am just like such a huge fan of her and everything she does. She's just like the nicest woman in the world. So it was so much fun to see her again and to get her new book, which I'm really excited to read. The next book I got signed at Book Expo is Audubon Out by Nick Stone. Nick Stone is another really, really lovely author. I had met her for the first time the previous Book Expo and I got the arc of her first book signed and I read it and was able to tell her how much I loved it this time when I met her. I know I just said I never expect authors to remember me, but she did remember me from like that small interaction or I think we've seen each other at like other events too. I'm pretty sure she was at the Tiffany Jackson and Marco Shiro event, but regardless, it was really cool to be recognized by like an author I'd only met a few times before. Um, she also wrote in my book, she signed it. Oh God, can you even see this because of the reflective Sharpie? So basically the title is Odd One Out and she crossed out one and wrote Emma and it's sort of like a reference to how she signs Dear Martin where she wrote Dear Cross Al Martin and then writes the person's name and she wrote Makeup Poppin because she liked my makeup that day which I really appreciated because I always like her makeup as well. And the final book I got signed at Book Expo is Dry by Neil and Jared Schusterman. I was so so pumped to meet Neil Schusterman because I had just read Scythe and Thunderhead and Challenger Deep like right before BookCon so I waited online for a very long time to meet him and it was just lovely. He's the nicest man in the world. I also got to meet him later in 2018 so I'll talk about that later. If I'm being honest I didn't really know what to say to his son because like I hadn't read Dry yet so I, I didn't have much to say to him and I was more concerned with letting Neil know how much I loved his books but I'm super happy I got to meet them and then I met them again later. <laughs> in June I went to a signing for Marisha Pestle who's the author of A Night Film which is one of my all-time faves and Never Rolled Wake which is her first young adult release. I actually had the incredible opportunity to interview Marisha before the signing so if you want to check out that interview where we talk a little bit about Never World Wake and Night Film and just like her experience as an author check that out down below. She signed Never World Wake for Emma. Thank you for such a beautiful interview until next time and uh, she signed Night Film but I don't know what it says. That's the thing about author signings is sometimes when they do write like an extra message it's just like not legible because they're writing really fast to get through their line but nonetheless I'm really happy I finally had my copy of Night Film signed by Marisha Pestle because I just I love it so much and I love her so much. It was so nice to meet her and she's also just really lovely and smart and funny. It was a really great day. In July, I attended an event called Epic Reads Day where the YouTube channel Epic Reads had opened the doors of the HarperCollins office and invited people in to meet authors, get books signed, and attend like really cool panels and Q&As and whatnot. Epic Reads Day was a true one-of-a-kind event. I was really lucky to attend and I got to moderate the conversation with Kendara Blake, who is the author of Three Dark Crowns, which was so cool. So check out that vlog because I really enjoyed it. Also at Epic Reads Day with your ticket you got like a ton of books. I think you got like 10 books but honestly I already had a lot of them myself and most of them were signed so I didn't take a lot of them. I only have three left over that I'm going to show you. The first is An Arc of Pride by Abby Zoboy. I loved getting to hear Abby Zoboy speak on Epic Reads Day. It was my first time getting to see her and she is just such an eloquent woman. I really enjoyed what she had to say about Pride and the cover design and everything and it so motivated me to read Pride and I just did. I just read it this past month and I really loved it. Next is What If It's Us by Adam Silvera and Becky Avertelli. Always gotta show you when Adam signs my books because you know he makes a million M's. Adam is a good friend of mine and I've met Becky quite a few times as well. I actually went to see Love, Simon with Becky and Adam and a couple of other people in the New York City area when Love, Simon was in theaters. So that was really cool but it was especially awesome to see Adam and Becky together like right before the release of What If It's Us um, and to get them both to sign my arc. Oh, and then I also got American Street signed, which I should have showed you with pride, but like here we are. The next signing I went to I think was in August and it was for Heretics Anonymous by Katie Henry. I get so excited when I talk about this book. If you were not watching my videos in 2018, you may not know that Heretics Anonymous was like one of my favorites of the year. I was hyped about it starting in January before it released. I got an arc. I read it in advance. It was amazing. I have a spoiler free review if you want to find out more about it. Check the description. There are so many videos down there. But I actually developed a really nice relationship with Katie Henry leading up to the release of her book. She was actually at the Zenith signing that I went to and she waited on the line of like my subscribers who wanted to talk with me and take photos of me just to thank me for recommending her book and getting
getting a ton of people to add it on Goodreads. So that was like the sweetest thing in the world. So I finally got to like meet her again and tell her how much I loved Heretics Anonymous in person. And it was a fun, fun event. I met up there with Michael, but I also brought my friend Natalia there and it was her first book signing ever. So that was a really cool event. But Katie signed it. Emma, Heretics Forever, you were the best. And I actually got another book signed at the event, which is The Midnights by Sarah Nicole Smetana. She was moderating the event and Here's the thing about being a New York City book signing attendee. You see a lot of these same New York City authors at all of these signings, but rarely do you like introduce yourself when it's not their signing and whatnot. So I had seen Sarah so many times and we followed each other on Twitter, but we had never formally been introduced or talked to each other. So I finally like spoke with her and got to meet her. I bought her book and she signed it for me. And it was really nice to like officially be like, hey, I'm Emma. I like know who you are already. <laughs> she wrote to Emma, so nice to meet you in real life listen to instinct trust your heart I'm really excited to read this book it's all about a girl who loses her father and like tries to connect with him through music it's gonna be an emotional read and I know I'm gonna love it later in 2018 I got a really cool opportunity to go to an advanced screening of to all the boys I've loved before by Jenny Han the film adaptation what do you know I have a movie review of that as well check the description but the extra cool thing about being invited to that advanced screening is that Jenny Han the author of the book as well as Lana Condor who plays Lara Jean in the movie were both there so I got to finally meet Jenny Han after reading this entire series and being a fan of her books over the years. The funny thing about this book is because the title is in this like handwritten sharpie font it literally looks like for Emma Jenny Han is like a part of the title. I can't believe I'm only halfway done this is so tragic but it should go by very quickly because I have a lot of books but I only have them from three different signings and um two of them have vlogs so you could just watch those if you want to hear more about them. The next signing I went to was for the final book in the Magisterium series by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. My boyfriend and I drove all the way up to Massachusetts for the day just to see Cassie and Holly and it was so worth it. I had done it the year prior and really enjoyed it so of course when I was off work again I had to go. Again you should check out that vlog because it's way more in-depth about what happened that day and you'll see clips from the actual event but I got a lot of books signed. I got 11 books signed at the signing which is unbelievable. I don't think I've ever gotten that many books signed at a signing before. Firstly I got the bronze key and the golden tower signed by both Cassie and Holly because when I went the year before they did not have the bronze key in hardback at the bookstore and I did not want to buy it in paperback so I was like I will wait I know I will see Cassie and Holly again and I can get it signed by the both of them and I did and then this was the book that they were celebrating the launch for. I got four Shadowhunter books signed City of Bones, City of Glass, City of Lost Souls and the paperback of Lady Midnight and like this completes like two full sets of the Mortal Instruments series that I have signed which is wild. She signed pretty much all of them just for Emma Cassie Clare but she signed City of Bones for Emma My Dear. I got five books by Holly signed which means ten in total combined with the Magisterium books which is wild. Seven. She signed two Magisterium books and five Holly Black books. Seven. Listen, I have a science degree, not a maths one, okay? First, I got the entire Tithe series signed by her. I believe this was her first series. I have not read it yet, but I'm really interested because it's paranormal fantasy with fairies. Like, that's sort of my thing. Then I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of The Cruel Prince because when I went to go to her signing in January, Barnes & Noble was actually out of stock of these, and I really, really wanted it anyway, so I bought it after the fact. Um, and then I finally got it signed, and she also signed my arc of the Wicked King. The last book I got signed at that event is Imposters by Scott Westerfeld. He was also there along with David Levithan and he signed it to Emma. Hope you enjoy. I kind of bought this book because like I felt bad. Like I had all these books for Cassie and Holly to sign and I had nothing for Scott Westerfeld because I had actually met him in the past and he signed all of my ugly series books and he was celebrating this new one so I was like I might as well just support this author's new release. I have not read any Scott Westerfeld yet but one day I promise I will dive into the ugly series and I'm sure I will like it and then I can dive into the sequel series that has recently come out that's set in the same world. The next handful of books all came from the same day. I went to a signing in the evening but earlier in the day I conducted a special author interview so I actually in addition to that interview I vlogged the whole day and it's one of my favorite signing vlogs that I've made so check that out in the description. <laughs> the signing was for Dry by Neil and Jared Schusterman so I got to see them again. They signed this one for Emma B. Quenched and then because at Book Expo you're not really allowed to bring in your books from home to get signed so I was able to bring the rest of my Neil Schusterman books that I have to get signed so I got Scythe and Thunderhead. In Scythe he wrote to Emma live forever. 
or not. And then in Thunderhead he wrote to Emma thunderously. And then I also got my copy of Challenger Deep Side which I was super pumped about and he wrote for Emma Read Deeply. The author I got to interview is none other than Marissa Meyer, the author of The Lunar Chronicles and Renegades, which has become one of my all-time faves. You already know this. I got to interview her right before the release of Arch Enemy, so that, of course, is linked in the description. But after our interview, Marissa so kindly offered to sign my copy of Renegades, which was just really sweet of her. I think she actually also signed my arc of Arch Enemies. She did! Oh, what a sweetie. She wrote, To Emma, keep your enemies close. I had actually met Marissa Meyer at least once before. I definitely met her at Y'all Fest of like 20... <laughs> 15. So of course I don't expect her to have remembered me. I was one out of 200 that day. But it was really nice to sit with her, talk to her about her writing craft, and just get to know her a little bit better. So I was really really grateful for that day and that interview and just everything that happened. <laughs> I also brought Natalia along that day to be my little like camera woman for the interview and also to meet Neil Schusterman because she is also Red Scythe and really enjoyed it. So all around, it was a really wonderful day. All right, we have made it to the end, my final signing of 2018. Of course, that signing is for Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. I got to see Cassie twice in 2018, which was so, so exciting. I got to spend a little bit of time with her before the signing when I had a friend that was interviewing her, and then I got to see her again at the signing, and she's just lovely as always. This event was so much fun. I'm incredibly disappointed because I lost all the footage I filmed filmed of the vlog. I would have had a vlog of the signing, but um, stuff happens. <laughs> Technology is not reliable. That's the lesson learned here. The extra cool thing about the event is I actually got the opportunity to meet the woman who designed the runes for like the entire series, like the rune that I have tattooed on my body. I got to meet the woman that designed it, which was so cool. Her name is Val. She is a super talented artist and she got to tell me a lot about like working on Cassie's stuff and when like she got the opportunity to draw even more runes for the release of Lady Midnight or Lord of Shadows. So I really valued that event, not just because I got to see Cassie, I got to meet so many of you guys, but I also got to meet Val who was just like another person that has really made the Shadow Hunter world what it is today. So that was super cool. Honestly, I think the Queen of Air and Darkness signing was one of my favorites of 2018. Of course, I'm a little biased because I got to see Cassie and like <laughs> seeing Cassie is always like the highlight of my year. But just I got to talk to so many cool people, meet new people, talk to old people that I've met at other signings. Um, and I just like had a moment where I was just like, wow, like I love who I am when I'm at book signings. Like I feel like this is my most authentic self, like meeting my subscribers and seeing my favorite author. It was just such a wonderful day and I'm so happy I went. And the cherry on top of that event is I got a second book signed by a different author. Maureen Johnson is a close friend of Cassie's and she was moderating the event. And I don't believe she was like officially signing books cause it was like really Cassie's event. I had completely forgotten to bring my copy of Truly Devious for Maureen to sign. So I ended up buying a new copy there just so she could sign it and then I ended up donating my old copy um but I was just really happy to talk to her Truly Devious was one of my favorites of 2018 and like The Vanishing Stare was like just coming out around that time so it was really cool to spend some time with her as well. That is it that concludes my completed signed book collection for 2018. I just love going to book signings and getting signed books and getting to meet authors and telling them how much I love their books or how excited I am to read their books. It genuinely is like one of my absolute favorite things to do and I just had such a wonderful year full of so many amazing signings. I can only hope that 2019 will compare. Let me know your thoughts on any of the books that I mentioned in this video. If you've met any of these authors yourselves or if you have any anecdotes about some signed books that you've gotten, I would love to hear them. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!